guys, this is Kachi again, and I just have this quick tutorial for you guys today, and um, that's because I've been seeing a lot of requests, a lot of comments on the internet about the best way to speed up a region, to slow down a region in logic, and um, I'm here today to give you guys my personal opinion. I mean, there are so many ways, or I guess about two or three ways to do this. But I find um, the method I'm about to teach you guys today the easiest, the most convenient one out there. So, and um, it helps a lot because, like, it makes everything like in sync in logic. I don't know if you understand what I mean, but uh, hopefully you will after this video. So, um, I have the track that I want to use right here. It's by it's a sample. Actually, it's not a sam. Yeah, it's a stem from Candyland, not coming down. I was working on a remix uh, for the song earlier this year. So let's listen to what it sounds like. <laughs> that didn't loop properly so that's because we don't have the right BPM right here and um, I already have a tutorial on how to get the right BPM so if you don't know how to you should search for that in uh, my previous videos and so right here my BPM counter gives me 140 and so 140 is the BPM of um, this song so let's listen if it loops properly <music> mm. yes and as expected that loops correctly so we want let's say we want to take this song from a BPM of 140 to a BPM of 95 how do we stretch that out well that's um, fairly easy and I'm going to show you today so first we want to if you're using the MacBook touchpad um, you use two fingers down on the touchpad right here and you hold it and then you get this menu and then you want to go to customize transport bar and this pops up and now we want to click very speed because that's what we're going to be using very speed and hit OK and now here very speed this is what we're going to be using to slow down and to speed up um, our work so at this very speed option here, we want to hold it down. This time is one finger. And we want to choose resulting tempo. Oh, that's already selected. We want to choose uh, resulting tempo because we want to be able to change the tempo. So now in here, I said we wanted to change this to 95. So we just type 95 and hit OK. Let's listen to what it sounds like. So that's pretty cool. So if we want to speed up the track, we click here, let's take it to 170. So 
So like I said, I find this the most convenient way to do this. And um, one thing you should note about this is that when you do it, it actually um, changes logic. So now every um, audio that you import into logic is gonna run with this new BPM. And I think that's pretty much what we want. So without going through stretching, every other track I think this just solves that problem and does everything automatically so people I encourage you to use this and use it well and wisely so thank you for watching this uh, short video and if this helped you please subscribe to my channel so I can continue to make more helpful videos thank you and have a nice day